In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. <clears throat> Once again, we are here early in the morning welcoming Jesus into our heart. And because we know that uh, he will be coming one day to welcome us in glory. So let us now prepare our hearts to celebrate these sacred mysteries by asking the Lord for mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In Christ Jesus, you intercede for us uh, at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hands of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. All the ways of a man may be right in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who proves hearts. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the tillage of the wicked is sin. The plans of the diligent are sure of profit, but all rash haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbor finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simple are wiser. When the wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The just man appraises the house of the wicked. There is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will himself also cry, also call, and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, in the way, way of your commands. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Lead me in the path of your commands, for I delight, for in it I delight. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. And I will keep your law continually, forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The Lord be 
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He, to he was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act upon it. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, uh, in our short gospel today, uh, we just heard that Jesus' uh, family comes to see him, uh, his mother, and uh, some of his relatives. But the crowd was just so large in uh, the place uh, with Jesus that uh, they were unable to come or ever get close to him. And so they sent word to Jesus that uh, they are there standing just outside the door and they wish to speak to him. And Jesus says, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act upon it. And in this short gospel, St. Luke tells us the reason, uh, I should say, he really doesn't tell us the reason why his mother Mary and relatives wanted to see him and speak to him. Uh, and I just wonder uh, what was on their mind. It, it could have been uh, that they thought perhaps that Jesus, where he was that day, that he was not in a safe place, or uh, that he was not with an especially safe uh, group of people. And so they feared, perhaps, maybe for his safety, and, but they weren't trying to stand in God's way. No, they just wanted Jesus to be safe and to return home. And at first, I think it uh, might seem to some of us that uh, Jesus was ignoring or rejecting his mother Mary uh, and other relatives but instead, Jesus was doing what he did so, so often with a new group of people. He was a teacher. He was teaching an important truth, um, trying to touch people's hearts and expand, expand his family beyond just his relatives. So... What really counts in life, I think, for all of us is what is going to bring us to heaven. And it's not necessarily uh, any person or the people uh, that we know or be related to. We hope that they'll help us. But what will bring us to heaven uh, and give us an imperishable crown um, is uh, not only hearing and learning uh, the word of God, but above all, acting upon it by the way we live. So that's it. What's going to get you and me to heaven, hopefully someday, is by being 
transformed by God's grace as you are this morning, as you're opening your heart to Jesus again. And as we try to live out God's life uh, every day, every day of our life, that's what's going to get you and me hopefully one day to the Lord. Let us now bring our heartfelt prayers and petitions to our loving Father. For the Pope, for our bishops, for all the clergy throughout the world, that all may remain steadfast in teaching and fervent in life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the good of our country, our diocese, and our parish, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick and suffering, that they may be given to know the redemptive power of the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those working on our church renovation, bless the work of their hands and draw them closer to his most sacred heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers that we hold deep in our hearts, And for those written in the parish book of intercessions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, and especially all holy family parishioners who died on this date, including Louis Cedric and Pearl Joy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Ted Zabiziak, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we come to you today with joy and gratitude in our hearts. And may our prayers uh, be according to your holy will. And may they be for the salvation of us all. Please hear these and all of the prayers we are offering through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Accepted by you, Lord, may I sacrifice and desire to you. Lord, wash away my sins, cleanse me from my Pray 
my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, so that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever to praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Earl our Bishop, all the clergy, the religious, and all of God's people. 
and remember all souls, our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Let kingdom, be. the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to reach but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ, Amen. the body of Christ.
And for those at home, please join in the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, Free us, we pray, from doing any evil, and lead us to do what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So on this uh, first day of fall, I wish each of you to have a continuation of a blessed, joyful day today. Our prayers here are concluding, so you may go in peace to glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint, Saint Michael, Michael, the archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against it's the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May the God rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, thou, Prince of the heavenly host, host by, by the power of God, God Sins in the hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.